What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, well, it's a bit weird. So we've got a whole new evolution line to talk about. And it does end up in one of those super rare level sixes that does have the tamer on the artwork, like we've seen a few times lately. But it doesn't have the tamer all the way up the evolution line like we've seen a couple of times recently. Which is a little bit weird. But we are going to go for a whole evolution line, finishing off with Black War Greymon X Antibody. Which sounds like an awful lot of fun. And I should say that translations here come from the lovely folks over at DigimonCard.dev. The lovely folks over at Entan Gaming. And me! I did some of these myself. And I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I am just a little bit proud of myself. So, we're going for a whole evolution line. If we're going to do a whole evolution line, it probably makes sense that we should start off with the level 2. Let's start off with Coromon. Now, we've got a black Digimon here, but we are going to be going largely black, red, dual color. And what we got here is a level 2 Digimon with an inheritable skill. On your opponent's turn, once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, if your Digimon contains Greymon in its name, draw a card. So it doesn't have to be for a black wall Greymon deck, but it's that kind of thing we're talking about here. We're drawing cards. We're trying to delete Digimon. It is on your opponent's turn when a Digimon is deleted, i.e. not on your turn when you're attacking and all of that. But still, ladies and gentlemen, this could be very, very good. Now, we've then got, going up into your level 3, we've got Agamon X Antibody, which is a pure black Digimon, it must be said. 4 cost to play normally, extremely high. 0 cost to Digivolve, 3,000 power. So, very expensive to play. You want to be evolving. But it does evolve from Agamon for zero cost. Now, that shouldn't really surprise anyone at this stage. Because, of course, that's what X anybody generally tend to do. You can save a little bit of memory by going up in the same... Well, in, in the same level. You're going from a level 3 to a level 3. But... It's kind of important here... Because it means that you've got more options. If you're starting off with a red deck, you can go into a red Agamon. But then for zero, then we go from a red Agamon into this black Agamon. As an example. So yeah, this one works. Don't forget there was an Agamon X antibody over in BT9. Which when you play or did evolve, lets you reveal three cards on the top of your deck. And add an X antibody and a card with Greymon or Omnimon in its name to your hand, which might be, and it could also Digivolve as a zero cost from Agamon. That might be a better option here. But we do have a skill. When you play this or evolve, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add a card with Greymon or X antibody in its name, and a Black Tamer from them to your hand. So no, it's probably not a better option, I'm afraid. <laughs> this is going to be a bit better. Because the X-Antibody option card is fine. But if you're looking for your Black Tamers, which a lot of the time you're going to be here, this is going to be the kind of thing you're looking for. So this is a great skill. We've seen it on a bunch of Digimon in the past. It's going to see play. Then, as an inheritable skill on both players' turns, when this Digimon with either Greymon or Omnimon in its name is going to be deleted by card effects... Or return to the hand or bottom of the deck. You may return a card named X Antibody from this card's evolution sources to the bottom of your deck. And it's not deleted. Or return to the hand or deck. So hang on a second. Maybe you do want that X Antibody card. So maybe the one from BT9 is a decent play. In reality, what we're basically going to have here is you're going to be having a bit of a mix. If I'm honest with you. There's going to be different things going on, and there's going to be different options, and it's all going to be lovely. There are a couple of decent options here. Now, moving up into the level 4, we've got Greymon X Antibody. 5 cost to play normally, 3 cost to Digivolve, 6,000 power. And it's the Digivolution cost here, which is too high. It should be a 2 cost to Digivolve a level 4, not a 3 cost. We don't like this. This is super annoying. But we've got ourselves, and here I should mention, we've got a proper dual color. So we're into dual color now. We've got a black and red Digimon that can evolve from a black or red Digimon. So we have now very quickly gone proper dual color. And what we've got here is you can evolve from Greymon for zero cost. Any Greymon, you're good. On your turn, when this Digimon is about to evolve into a card with Greymon in its name, for each color that card contains, this cost 
is reduced by one. So if you did evolve into, for instance, Metal Greymon, which is clearly going to be the level five we get into in a minute, then you reduce it by a two cost because you are a black and red Digimon. It doesn't have to be, like I say, if you're evolving into a monocolor, you only reduce it by one. But if you're evolving into a Metal Greymon, for instance, and it's a dual color one, and obviously the one we're going to look at in a minute is, then all of a sudden you're reducing it by two. That is good, ladies and gentlemen. That is good. We've then got Inheritable Skill on both players' turns. When the Digimon, this Digimon, with Greymon or Omnimon in its name is about to be deleted, it's the same as we saw on Agamon, all right? You can return X antibody from your evolution sources to the bottom of your deck, and you're not deleted. Really nice Inheritable Skill, but do you need it on your level 3 and your level 4? I suggest possibly not. Uh, it is worth noting there was a Greymon X antibody in BT9. It did evolve again as a zero cost from Greymon. And it had an inheritable skill. If an effect would delete this Digimon, or return and it had Greymon or Omnimon in its name, obviously, or return it to its owner's hand or deck, you could prevent it by discarding two cards with the same level, i.e. two level threes, an Agamon and an Agamon X antibody. Or two level fours, a Greymon and a Greymon X antibody. So you've actually here got two different options on your Greymon to stop yourself being deleted, which is clearly a very nice thing indeed. Either you use the one from BT9 and get rid of two of the same level, or you use this one and get rid of an X antibody option card. Either way is pretty cool. Now, moving up into the level five here, we've got Metal Greymon X antibody, and what we've got here is an 8 cost to play normally, 4 cost to digivolve, evolve, 8,000 power. Once again, the evolution cost is too high. It should be 3, it's actually 4. But once again, don't forget that if you're playing the Greymon from this set, then all of a sudden what you can do is evolve it as a 2 cost. Because you've got 2 colours, rather than a 4 cost, which is clearly amazing. Obviously, it can digivolve from Metal Greymon for one cost, as you would expect. Now, it is one, not zero. Agamon and Greymon, remember, were free. But it's still digivolving very cheaply. You still get to draw a card when you digivolve. And, of course, you've got that skill we saw on the Greymon X antibody, that if you get rid of two evolution sources with the same level, you can stop yourself being deleted. So, having two level fives, which you would if you went for Metal Greymon, into Metal Greymon X Antibody is clearly a very good thing. Then we've got a Digivolution skill. When you're Digivolving until the end of your opponent's next turn, this Digimon cannot have its power decreased by opponent's effects, and it cannot be de-Digivolved. I.e., if your opponent tries to de-Digivolve, you're like, no, got it, can't do it. Then, if this Digimon has Metal Greymon or X Antibody, remember that is the option card X Antibody, not a card with X Antibody in the name, in its evolution sources, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 power or less. This is one of the main reasons you would want to go from Metal Greymon into Metal Greymon X Antibody. Sure, you've got the two level fives to save yourself being deleted with Greymon skill, and sure, you get to draw a card when you Digivolve, that's nice. But mostly here, you get to delete a Digimon with 6,000 power or less, which is awesome. Oh yeah, and we've got an absolutely ridiculous ridiculous inheritable skill on your opponent's turn once per turn when a digimon unsuspends that's any of them if this digimon contains greymon or omnimon in its name discard the top card of your opponent's security that's ridiculous oh you unsuspended one of your digimon boom loses security sure it's limited to once per turn but we've seen like these decks that can just randomly discard security not having to attack absolutely stunning absolutely love them and this is just phenomenal i love this card the digivolution skill is great and then we've got an evolution skill or an inheritable skill that lets you discard just a top card of your opponent's security that is as i like to phrase it a little bit nutty but then we get to the big boy we get to the level six we've got black war Greymon x antibody 13 cost to play normally is high, 5 cost to digivolve is huge, 13,000 power is high. This is big by any measure. Now the good news is you can digivolve from Black War Greymon for 2 memory, which is nice. But you're still going to get up to the level 6 and then pay 2 memory to digivolve into this. It's, it's not exactly a perfect plan. 
You've then got reboot, which means you want to spend on your opponent's unsuspend phase, i.e. you will never be suspended on their turn, which means them trying to take you out is going to be extremely difficult. This is a very good thing. And then we've got some skills, other than reboot, which is obviously a skill. On your opponent's turn, once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon with the highest power attacks, you may change the attack target to this Digimon instead. Now, it's got to be your opponent's Digimon with the highest power, but if it's less than 13,000, you can just be like, mate, bring it to me. You're going to reboot, so that's all fine. They're going to go after you, but that's not a problem because you're going to survive it. And, oh yeah, re remember how I showed you a minute ago that there's a really nice skill whereby on the Coromon, you have to have an opponent's Digimon deleted during your opponent's turn. So not only will you delete one of their Digimon and stop their attack going through, you'll also draw a card if you've got Coromon as your level 2, which is clearly phenomenal. Do bear in mind, if they've got like 14 or 15,000 power and you haven't boosted yours up, maybe don't do this. But then again, if they're literally going to win the game, yes, sacrifice Black Wall Graham on X Antibody to stop them winning. Then on your opponent's turn, once per turn, when a Digimon becomes unsuspended, bearing in mind you should be reducing their security by one because of Metal Graham on X Antibody, you also get if this Digimon has a card named Black War Greymon or X Antibody in its evolution sources, you may delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest play cost. So you've either got to have that option card X Antibody, or you've got to go from a level 6 Black War Greymon into a level 6 Black War Greymon X Antibody. And I know it's only deleting the Digimon with the lowest play cost, I understand that. But then, by the same token, th they can't just keep doing that. It's going to keep happening, and keep happening, and keep happening, and keep happening. And actually, turn after turn after turn, when you combine it with everything else you're doing and your normal attacks, you are going to start to wear their board down, and you're going to get some significant KOs with this, and that is going to be beautiful. So yeah, there's a lot going on here, and it's all awesome, and I absolutely love it. It's lots of deleting your opponent's Digimon. You're stopping their big Digimon attack in anybody but yourself. You're drawing cards. And bearing in mind, let, let's put this together. You've got a way either with the old Greymon X Antibody or the new Greymon X Antibody to stop yourself being deleted. So what you can do here is redirect an attack to yourself and then use one of those skills to stop yourself being deleted even if they've got higher or equal power to you. Now, if they've got equal power to you, you would both get deleted, but you get to save yourself. They don't. That is kind of a dream scenario. But even if they've got 17,000 power, you can redirect the attack to yourself and then use one of these skills to save yourself. And that's kind of amazing. I should have mentioned, we didn't look at the previous Metal Grey Monex antibody. So let's have a quick look at it now. Digivolves as a zero cost from Metal Grey Mon. And when Digivolving, you get Security Attack plus one until the end of your opponent's turn. But if Metal Greymon or that Option Card X Antibody is in your Digivolution sources, you gain 3,000 power. So you essentially become an 11,000 power Digimon with Security Attack plus one. I adore Metal Greymon X Antibody from BT9. But then I'm also kind of in love with the one from this set as well. So I'm going to leave that one up to you. And while we're looking at extra cards, we've not had a Black War Greymon X Antibody, but we have had a War Greymon X Antibody. Digivolves are the one cost from War Greymon. On all turns, you gain a memory when a card is removed from your opponent's security stack, and that is not once per turn, that's any time. And at the end of your turn, once per turn, or end of attack, if this Digimon has War Greymon or X Antibody in its Digivolution sources, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with power less than or equal to this Digimon's power. So you've got some really nice parts to weave in around here, which I absolutely love. Now, the Tamer is not as important as it has been to some other Digimon in this set, but we should mention it anyway. We've quickly got Yu Yakuga. Four cost Tamer card. At the start of your turn, if you've got two or less memory, set it to three. We've seen that a lot. On your turn, when your Digimon evolves into a Digimon with Greymon in its name, you can suspend this Tamer, and until the end of your opponent's turn, you gain 2,000 power to that Digimon. 
And if that Digimon evolved into the Digimon with the same level, i.e. it's an ex-antibody, until the end of your opponent's next turn, it can't be affected by your opponent's option cards. And we have all, I'm assuming at least, lost multiple games due to those stupid option cards coming out at the perfect time. This basically guarantees that they won't. We've then got Hades Force, an option card, just to finish off with. It's a 7 cost, so it ain't gonna be cheap. But if you've got a card with X-Antibody in its Digivolution card, again, the option card X-Antibody, reduce the cost by 2. So it's a 5 cost. As a security, it deletes one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. As a main, you select an opponent's Digimon and Tamer in the battle area. With a play cost less than or equal to one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name. Hopefully Black or Greymon X Antibody, which is a 13 cost. And then delete all of the cards you selected. Oh yeah, and then one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name can attack the player. Even if they shouldn't be able to. Love it, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot going on here. We've got some of the cards from BT9 that we can weave in quite nicely. We've got lots of new skills. And we've got a very powerful new super rare as well. There is a lot to get excited about. But now it's over to you guys. I want to know what you think about this. I want to know if you think this stands up to the other super rares in the set. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Get us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can join a Discord and chat with us. You can get bonus polls pretty much weekly where you can hear all about my adventures. Basically, lots of fun stuff. But by far the most important thing, as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.